Okay, this is PowerFlow's newest um, update to our exhaust systems for our second generation classics. That is the original ball joint. It's an integrated ball joint. And unfortunately, over time, that can seize up. As you can see here, it's practically seized. You want to have a flexible tailpipe ball joint because it allows the tailpipe to absorb the shock and vibration associated with engine startup and normal operations. This reduces stress on the tailpipe and the collector assembly. If movement isn't allowed for, it adds stress to both components, resulting in shorter part longevity. Our replacement is this. This is a traditional spring type um, ball joint with flanges. And as you can see, go ahead and articulate it. It allows for movement. Okay, it does resist movement, so it's not just gonna flop around, but there would be cotter pins in here. They are not in there for the purposes of illustration. So this is an exhaust mounted on the engine. And here is a four to one that we are, if we wanted to modify and put the intermediate tube on. So this is the ball joint and it has to be slid over the four to one. But as you can see, it has to go all the way down. That's gonna be in our, that's in our instructions. And the ball joint is too short for the four to one. So this excess must be trimmed off, okay? Once it's trimmed off, it's gonna look at least like this. I mean, it can look like that. It just cannot be above the ball joint because then that will prevent the ball joint from working. So. Once it's in position, after we've trimmed it, you would drill a hole through there. It doesn't really matter where, it's just wherever it makes sense so you can get to the clamp. Then you would take it off. You put the flange on. You put it back to wherever you've drilled it. And then you would install the clamp. This is what the intermediate tube um, looks like without the uh, other half of it. This is the ball joint and you can see the four to one. We want the ball to make sure that the, it's at or above the surface of the inner four to one and you can see it is. If it's not, you have to trim the four to one. This flange gets is free floating. You put that on before you pin clamp it or else obviously you're going to have to take it off and put it on. But it'll ride up there and this other part goes on like that. This lower section is attached by this pin clamp, 70-20 pin clamp that we're all familiar with, and then it's held in by that pin clamp. And then this assembly with this flange and this assembly rides on there. And go ahead and articulate that one more time. Awesome. Thank you. So that whole uh, assembly is the newest version of the 78102 uh, intermediate tube and uh, it's available now.